And the first speaker today is Andrei Sraker from Economic Research Institute, Ljubljana, Slovenia. By the way, we have participants from 18 countries. Okay, so hello also in my name. Um, firstly, thank you to the organizers for a great event and naturally for accepting me to present in its framework. My background, as you see, is from economics and mathematics in terms of probability. Um, so basically the presentation that I will present today relates to stochastic partial and stochastic differential equations. I think if I saw the program correctly, slightly less represented on this conference, but nevertheless, so what we will try to do is to present a solution of stochastic partial and stochastic ordinary equation with several complex variables using, um, as you will see, some congruence, I would say, between Nevalina theory, stochastic processes, and harmonic measures. Um, basically, also, as you will hear, um, some of this is still um, under work, uh, but you will hear everything during the uh, presentation. So, but the plan of the talk, I will present in slightly more detail the Levner and stochastic, uh, which is also called Schramm Levner equation. I will note that those are of key importance for the study of probability in recent decade or more with the works of Wendelin Wagner, Stanislav Smirnov, Scott Sheffield, and others. This is, I would say, even the most lively part of the research in probability theory at the moment. Uh, but the issue is that um, schramm lebner evolution, uh, which is solution to stochastic schramm lebner equation, uh, is currently available only in two dimensions, which was the ground stone guiding this article. So how to put it, how to put this processes, I would say, in higher dimensions, naturally to solve the equation in the equator uh, two. I will present the Lerner equation, uh, the, non-stochastic version for with several complex variables, subject which has been studied uh, in past decade or I would say. Uh, then um, how to combine this with Nevalin theory, which has been to quite an extent in the past studied combined with stochastic processes and Brownian motions. Um, um, and using this connection, because Nevalin theory is quite developed and also recently studied, combined with several complex variables, present a solution both uh, to stochastic Lebner ordinary differential equation, which is the basis for the SLE for the Schramm Lebner equation, and for the stochastic Lebner partial equation, equation. Some basic properties, this is still under work, and some uh, summary and extensions. So um, the Leuvner's differential equation uh, in his 1923 paper Leuvner proved that the class of single slit mappings, holomorphic functions, mapping univalently the unit disk T um, onto the complement, complement of C of a Jordan arc is a dense subset of the class of all univariant mappings F in the unit disk uh, with some appropriate normalization and proposed a method to parameterize these single slit mappings. So um, if uh, let the G be some single slit map whose image in C avoids the Jordan arc, Lerner introduced the family of uh, univariant, univariant maps, GT, um, uh, uh, basically um, um, indexed by time, uh, which is the Riemann mapping whose image is the complement in C of the Jordan arc. This family GT can be described by differential equations and the first of the equations I will shortly show as a ground stone for the article is so-called slit radial Lerner partial differential equation, which you see here, the important is this so-called driving term continuous function kappa, which drives also the research a lot uh, in this area. Associated family um, of holomorphic semi-self maps on the unit disk that you see here gives solutions of the characteristic equation, which is um, the ordinary differential uh, version of the PDE that you see 
above uh, and imposing the initial condition that you see here. This slit ray, the Leubner ODE, has a unique solution defined for all T on the interval, and moreover, uh, it is a holomorphic uh, self map on the unit disk. Um, so, um, from the slit radial, there is a natural link to the general radial Leubner partial differential equation, which goes through the Leubner chains, which are families of univalent mappings on the, of the unit disk, whose images form an increasing family of simply connected domains. Uh, and again, with appropriate normalization, you can connect to this Leubner chain a family of holomorphic self maps on the unit disks. And the first are um, can be derived as the solutions of the general radial Leubner PDE and uh, then uh, connected also to the second ones, which satisfy the Leubner's ordinary differential equation. And there is a strong connection to normalized parametric Herglot's functions later in higher dimensions. Those are Herglot's vector fields. So um, the uh, then um, this was the radial version of the equation. There is also a chordal version, which is the basis for Schramm's um, solution of the stochastic version of the equation. He solved this chordal uh, equation. Uh, basically, uh, you see um, uh, different uh, 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 um, uh, specification of the equation. Uh, this is the partial differential equation in this valid up to time tz that can be characterized as the first time t such that gt is real and where h is a continuous real valued function. So um, basically a given continuous function h, one can consider the following initial value problem that you see here, which is again the order ODE version of the PDE above and Schramm studied what happens if with this um, instead of this h or um, in this ht you insert a stochastic component stochastic process he inserted brown in motion but this can be varied in many different versions but the basic sle is naturally related to general um, standard i would say brownian motion but this limits this to two dimensions. Finally, there is also general level equation where basically you insert a function g, um, a generator g being infinitesimal generator for almost all fixed d greater equal than zero, and you get the associated general Leubner partial differential equation, uh, and um, above you have naturally the uh, ODE version. So, um, as, as I mentioned, associated are the Herblot's vector uh, fields, which are time dependent vector fields that are measured in T for all fixed C and uh, are holomorphic infinity uh, decimal generators of semi groups um, for almost all fixed D, and such that each compact set there exists a non negative function so that uh, these properties are satisfied. Again, the family of univalent maps can be uh, related to learning chains of order D, and these learning chains can then be used to uh, characterize and to derive the solutions uh, related to Herglot's vector fields and the general solutions of the equation. So um, as I mentioned, those were the uh, two-dimensional, one could say, versions. Um, how to put this with several complex variables? Um, I, again, started with the basic version. Baker studied general form of solutions in one complex variable, uh, inserting the function p, which relates to derivations. That is earlier, this function p uh, is uh, part of the Theodor Theodori class of holomorphic functions uh, with appropriate properties, um, and uh, then derives the canonical solution, which is locally uniform on U, where the transition function is the unique Lipschitz continuous solution of the initial value problem that you see here. And he also proved that any other solution can be uh, strongly related to this canonical solution. Um, so also, um, this is in, uh, one complex variable. For several complex variables, there is an extension of the learning chains, so-called subordination chains in several complex variables, firstly studied by Falzgraf in the 1970s. He uh, the Falzgraf generalized to higher dimensions, the Leuven's differential equation developed existence and uniqueness theorems for its solutions on the unit. And in the 
CN also exist at regularity theory have been studied um, and um, in several complex variables, this class of normalized B colomorphic mappings um, may be characterized as a subclass which consists of those mappings that can be embedded in learner chains. There is a strong connection between- Excuse me, Andre. Uh, yes. Uh, the previous slide, uh, uh, the function F is the uh, limit uh, of uh, uh, some uh, some function v. What is this? V is the transition function that you see here. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. I yeah. this is this is how you then characterize this solution of the equation, the mm -hmm. canonical solution. Uh, oh, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for the question. So uh, then the definition, uh, basically this mapping F is called a subordination chain is F is holomorphic uh, and satisfy those properties. And in addition, if it is holomorphic on BN, we say that this F function is a univalent subordination chain. And if it is univalent subordination chain with those properties, we say that again, this F is also a Leuvenel chain. Um, he proved some lemmas uh, in the previous um, uh, articles on uh, this uh, equation, several complex variables, few properties can be improved. One of them that you see here, uh, if you have a mapping A from CN to CN, then uh, you can derive the subordination chains and there exists a mapping which is holomorphic and which is a univalent subordination chain. And then basically the subordination chain satisfies the general form of the Leuvenel quarter partial differential equation for several complex variables. But the real problem that I faced when doing this was naturally, this is all um, deterministic, one would say not stochastic. How to put this into a stochastic form? Uh, what uh, is used, uh, as I said, this is the work in progress. Um, basically, one connection that is immediate is to Neumann theory, uh, the theory of properties, I would say, of meromorphic functions and the Neumann functions. Um, this theory has been extended to several complex variables in some uh, extensive works in recent decades uh, and so. Uh, and this theory has also been strongly connected to stochastic processes, to Brownian motions in early work of Atsuji uh, and others starting in the 1980s and in the 1990s. Some conformal invariance has been shown between uh, those um, uh, parts of mathematics, I would say, between uh, stochastic processes, between probability and between meromorphic functions. And this is what, what, what is used here. What we do is we transform the stochastic part into Nevalina theory, solve this in Nevalina uh, theory for several complex variables and we derive solutions which can then also be studied using stochastic, again, uh, properties. So how this connection works, if f is, uh, firstly, those are the basic Nevalina functions. This is the Nevalina counting function that you see here. It counts the multiplicity of the poles of the meromorphic function f in the disk c. Um, uh, this is the proximity function, and the sum of those two is usually called the Nevalina characteristic. And there are uh, two fundamental theorems of Nevalina. Theory, the first which states that for every A in the Riemann sphere, this uh, function T is sum of the two uh, functions that you saw earlier. Um, uh, uh, and also the second fundamental theorem uh, inserts some nice inequalities, which can be used to study the, uh, these equations. Uh, the Nevalina theory has been connected earlier to complex differential equations. So those properties can be used to study the uh, solutions of the uh, complex differential equations. Finally, um, this can be uh, in many works, it is connected to Brownian motion and to stochastic processes. Uh, uh, one simple example, if you uh, have some uh, local sub martingale, you use to my decomposition theorem, uh, you decompose it into a sum of local martingale 
okay, and an increasing process. And then uh, if this is the stopping time T, you get the equivalent of the first mean theorem of Levandina, and also uh, if the second can be uh, derived in a very similar manner. So ba basically, um, this is then used uh, what is done uh, is uh, that uh, from the, for the equations in the uh, with several complex variables, you insert stochastic processes for the functions h that uh, we saw earlier, and this stochastic version is transformed into meromorphic form using those um, equivalences seen here and studied using Nevali theory for several complex variables, some initial theorems that we were able to derive. Firstly, if you give a continuous function and some model like on a polydisc, basically um, you get that if the t is the standard domain, then this equation has some uh, nice solutions and you get some uh, canonical uh, maps. Uh, additionally, which is here, we include the h as multidimensional Brownian motion and study this uh, initial value problem, uh, we again derive some properties uh, relating this to appropriate definitions of subordination chains, and again, coming to uh, solutions also in the case of, this is the case of the partial differential equation, and finally, which is an extension of the theorem that you said previously for several complex variables, similar solutions to appropriate definitions for stochastic Lovner quarter PDEs can also be explored here. I can mention we are still studying some properties, earlier works also related to these equations with several complex variables pointed to some problems on some areas of the ball PN and some of them are also still studied related also to the st uh, stochastic versions. So um, we studied some properties of the solutions. Um, some of the solutions were found as um, basically, um, if you relate this to general schramm levner uh, theory, you would again come to some um, family of random maps, but in this case, they are in um, um, CN or in multiple dimensions. And the exact study of this naturally is also dependent on the parameters in the process. But nevertheless, we experimented with some properties. This is the real part. This is the complex part of the stochastic solution. And again, some instabilities in the solutions were uh, observed at this point. So- um, You have two minutes more. Yes, so uh, I'm basically finished. Um, to conclude, um, this is a, a solution to stochastic, we aim to provide a solution to stochastic level dimension uh, with several complex variables in high dimensions, something quite searched for but unanswered in this SLE, I would say, community of scholars. Uh, this works while we studied mainly the quartal version of the equation, it works also for the radial one and for ODE and PDE. And also, I think, I mean, I was searching quite heavily some systematic ways of studying stochastic uh, ODE and PDE with several complex variables are still uh, largely lacking. You have um, general solutions to um, uh, differential, partial differential equations with several complex variables, but not in stochastic version. And these connections between the Van theory, stochastic processes, and harmonic measures can probably be used to address this issue. So for the extensions, you could use other driving functions, other instead of brown in motion, other stochastic processes, if you would establish this connection also uh, in, uh, for some other process, which has been done earlier as well. Uh, the detailed study of convergence of this high dimension SLE on different uh, stochastic surfaces, other approaches in high dimensions, other combinations, also naturally solutions of other uh, SPDE and SDE with several complex variables could be tried in this manner. And also um, uh, in terms of the static of solutions to study this in an appropriate complex manifold like Stein, like Oka, like the ones that are studied today. As I mentioned, still working, very much work in progress.
as I'm looking forward to any questions and comments. Thanks. Okay, let's send the speaker. Are there any questions, comments, remarks? In the chat? No comments? Okay, so let's thank the speaker again. Yes.